So here's what's astonishing about VO3 and SORA2 and whatever's coming next is that the, the physics, the way the human body moves, the kinematics and the dynamics and the way objects move is very good, but it's very good without explicit knowledge of physics. Unauthorized breach, armored truck just smashed through the main gate. All units- What you have to understand about these techniques is that they are still purely data driven. And what has happened is they have been able to train on so much video. So whether that's Google training on the entirety of YouTube or OpenAI training on the entirety of video libraries, they have learned so much about motion in the real world that they're able to replicate it without explicit models of the human body. So that's both good and bad. The bad part for you and me is that the videos look much more convincing. The good part is the physics are still wrong. So one of the things that we are doing, very nascent, but I think really important, is looking really quantitatively at these physics. The physics of human motion, the physics of things moving through the air, the physics of things like explosions. Do these things follow the laws of physics in the, in the real world? And what I can tell you is visually they seem to, but mathematically they do not, which still is going to give us an edge for now, <laughs> right? Then that's the important part of that. Like who knows what's gonna be here, you and I talking a year from now or two years from now, but you're 100% right, Emmanuel. Not only have they grabbed your likeness really, really well, the physics of it, the, the photorealism are really, really good um, in a way that I, I don't think you would have said even nine months ago. No, definitely not. And that's fascinating. So if I'm understanding this correctly, what you're saying is that Essentially, when you know when we read or when people talk about like the the abilities that that the, this technology is gaining or, or the advances rather from one model to the next, they'll say it's really good at physics. But what you're saying is that it's really good at mimicking. That's the important word to add: is mimicking. It is not a physics-based rendering. It, it doesn't know about physics. It doesn't know actually about anything, which is, makes it even that much more amazing, honestly. Um, but yes, it is. It is good at mimicking physics, um, which for us is still good. Now, will it go to a point where that ability to mimic is so good that you can't tell the difference? That is what I don't know. Yeah, and we have not seen, like you said, an app that gives you the ability to control an AI avatar and make it do pretty much anything yeah. Yeah. That, that isn't is a and horrendous crime. Yeah. But yeah. And, and here's the thing, I think that's right. And, once Sora opened that door, it's coming. TikTok's gonna do it, Facebook's gonna do it, everybody's gonna do it now. It's such a wild success that there will be copycat after copycat after copycat. So this, this may, by the way, be the new social media, which I'm not sure which is worse, the social media we have now or the AI slop social media, but this may very well end up being the future of what all social media looks like. It's just, and by the way, my, my vision of the future of this is really dystopian, which is, AI bots making AI slop, delivering it to humans who are doom scrolling it to deliver them ads. I mean, I think that's sort of where we're going. And it's a really weird next step in this evolution of social media.